We're at the Central Illinois Regional, team number 4143, Mars Wars, checking out more about the robot um, behind the bumpers. I'm here with Sam and Cole. And tell me about a couple of cool things that really just stand out to you on the spot. All right, so this is Dreadnought. So this robot is all based around a swerve drive mechanism that we've been doing for quite some time. So this allows us to be able to be highly maneuverable on the field and also for easy alignment of our game piece manipulation. Plus, for the ability to do a third level climb, we actually can move those swerve drives down to push our frame up. So instead of having a second drivetrain, we still use our original drivetrain for our third and second level climb. So there's a lot of extra things that are going on underneath to keep this alive. And also, we are still able to keep light and nimble out on the field, even though with this big complicated mechanism, we also have to try to keep the frame as stiff as possible with this big complicated me mechanism. And it seems to be working out pretty good. So I think I'll pass it over to Cole here to work on, to talk about the elevator and our game piece manipulation. Okay, so we designed our robot to be able to perform everything on the field. We have an elevator that can take us to all three heights of the rocket and uh, the cargo ship. So our arm will extend in and out of the robot. Sam, if you... So we can extend it all the way out of the robot to pick balls up off the floor, and then we also use that to shoot them into the cargo ship, which we found was a lot more effective than trying to shoot them up. And then we have our claw device, or our hatch panel device over here. Uh, we just stick it in the middle and open up the claws, and we can use that to reach uh, all three levels, including the bottom level of the cargo ship. And then our elevator can reach um, any position on the field. And uh, we have it set with encoders, so the whole thing moves simultaneously. We push a button, and it'll go to the top rocket position. One thing I want to follow up with Mars Wars, you guys have been building sword drives for a really long time. What about sword drives is, like, what appeals to you so much? Why do you always go to this route each year? So sword drives are really awesome for the fact that we're allowed to, we're allowed to both go back and forward, we can strafe, we can spin on the spot, which allows us to gain a lot of maneuverability on the field. Plus, there's a little extra benefit. So let's say that we're trying to line up to shoot a cargo into the rocket ship. So it allows us to be able to strafe and move in fine adjustments so we don't have to back up and readjust. So it allows us for much more fine adjustments. It also allows us to get around defensive bots because we can spin around them. 4143 Mars Wars looking real good at Central Illinois Regional, looking for big things out of this team. Good luck to you guys for the rest of competition season. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.